Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Friday Business Intelligence Tip of the Week. Today, I'm going to be talking about more of a statistical function, one that I thought would be much easier to do than what it really is. I received a question uh, the other day from one of our customers on calculating the mean value, and I thought, uh, my first blush, I thought, well, that shouldn't be very difficult, and there's got to be just a function. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and show you what I had to do to calculate a mean and and kind of flushed it out and, and resolved it down to an easier way of doing it. For those of you that are not familiar with what the mean is, or the median, I mean, I shouldn't say mean, the median <laughs> is, is the middle value in a set. So if you had, let's say, five numbers, one, two, three, four, five, number three would be the the median. It's the value rate in the middle. So it's not necessarily the average uh, of it, which is the mean. The median is the middle value. Now, when I first got the uh, task asked of me how to calculate the median, um, what I ended up doing was thinking, well, there's got to be just a function like median. I can say select median and put in the value, but there's not uh, a function like that in SQL Server. So how you calculate the median is, I'm going to do, I'll show you a table here. I'm just going to do a basic table. Now, this table doesn't make sense to calculate the median of anything, but basically it's the periods table from uh, one of our financial data marts. Um, and as I go through that and just say, give me the median uh, value, I'm going to do of the periods column. So as you can see, there's just periods 1 through 13. So the median value would be 7. The, the the row rate in the in the middle here would be the median. So how do I get that inside of SQL Server? Well, they do have a function that can get me the median value, but it's not uh, median. And that function is called uh, percentile disk, uh, which I'm going to bring the function over here. So it's called percentile disk from the Microsoft documentation. Um, and the, the syntax of it, uh, you've seen me use with some other functions in the past by using uh, partitions and order buys within a group. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and build that out. I'm going to move this to the side and we'll talk about each piece as we do it. It's not nearly as difficult as what uh, that function initially looks like, but just to, to flush it out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this periods uh, up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say select distinct percentile disk. And what, what this function does is give me the, the percentage through the record set that I'm looking at that I want to look at. And inside parentheses here, I give it a value from 0 to 1 where zero would be the very beginning and one would be the last record, so 100%, versus 0.5 is 50% through the population of records we're looking at. So I'm going to say select, select distinct percentile uh, disk uh, 0.5 within the group. And then I have to say order by and this, this is the group that I'm looking at. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to order by period. So that was the one that, you know, the column that I want to uh, do this within. So within the ordered by column of period, um, I want to do 50% of the way through that. Now, normally I would have thought that's all I would need to do, but it does require an over by. So what set of the, the population am I looking at this? And I'm going to say partition by, and in my case, I'm going to say one. I struggled with this for a long time uh, of, of what this is, because without that partition by one, which I'll get into what that is here in a second, I'll just call this as median from periods. We'll go with that. If I run this, we get our median value of seven. So this is really all that you need to do to get a median is you tell it the percentage that you want to go through, and 0.5 would be the median within the group, which is the, the fields that we're going to be, you know, grouping by. And then 
um, or ordered by. And then this partition is the grouping level that it's at. Now, I wanted it over the whole population. And I struggled at first by doing that because in the periods table, um, there wasn't something that said, give me every row. Uh, and so it was constantly wanting me to put a column in here. But if I just put a one in there, it's a literal one. And so it covers the whole population. So it'll be a median of everything. Now, if I go back to that base select star from periods table, we'll start adding a little more advanced items to it because that wasn't a very complex item. I wanted the whole median of the whole record set, but sometimes maybe you want a median value of a particular um, company or department. You want some, the, the sales values, the median sale for each department or each product, something like that. So there's values within the table. So in my case, I'm gonna do the median period within each quarter. So it's the middle value within each quarter. So in the case of quarter one, for instance, the median would be two. So it's the middle period within that. So to get the value on that, all you're really doing there is you're saying up here, you wanna display it by quarter. So I want each quarter, I wanna see the median value uh, for each ordered by period over, and instead of just being a one here, I put the, the fields, and if there were more than one, I would do comma separated uh, values there. So now if I run this, it's gonna give me for each quarter the median value. So this partition by is the basically the group by syntax, if you're familiar with that inside SQL. So we're specifying the fields to group by, and including those up in the select so that it displays it there. Uh, within that. And if you need the whole population, like I had before, remember, just put a one there. So it just depends. And I, and it's that one's the one I struggled with because I had a hard time getting that to work. But um, so a simple median is just a matter of using the function called percentile underscore disk. And there again, if you need to get some information on the details of that in the Microsoft documentation, they do have that out there. Some of the other database platforms besides SQL Server have a similar function. So you'll find that uh, in many of the other database platforms. Um, but this was a new one to me as far as calculating median to use that. So as always, it, thank you for joining me uh, today. And if you do have any suggestions on future topics, feel free to reach out to us because um, we'd love to cover them. And you can send that to info at dashboardgear.com. And until next Friday, good luck in all your business intelligence endeavors.